welcome back. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. It's uh, already the start of the new year. Hope you had a great time with your friends and your family. We did, we went away, we went to Yosemite for almost a week. It was really beautiful. Had a nice little relaxing vacation with the family, so. But now I'm back and we are doing something new today. I'm gonna show you in a minute, I'm going to redo my mug in the mug press and I got some new silicone. Let me show them. There's three different sizes of these, but I got these little pads to put in here so that hopefully I can kind of bulk up the inside of the Cricut just to put more pressure on the cup because I feel like the sublimation print last time was just a little too light. Um, so I'm gonna do that, we're gonna try again, but I am also going to start cutting and making some of these. These are my latest project. These are little hotel keychains. but You can make your own design, so this one says, Life with Christ is a wonderful adventure, it's a quote by um, Pope John Paul II. I just made this little graphic and you use these UVDTF, I think they're called, transfers. It's a type of like a vinyl transfer. It's a permanent sticker, essentially. I'll show you. I have a bunch of different designs. I bought a bunch of different colors of these different ho hotel keychains. You can buy them on Amazon. You can find them a lot of different places, Etsy, wherever you want. Uh, they're really inexpensive. So I went and I found a template for these before I even purchased them because they're all basically the same thing. And I started making my own designs and seeing if they would fit to be able to size them. And then I had them printed on a giant sheet. As you can see, if it all comes in, but each little design is one little section on the sheet. And then you just cut, you wanna cut immediately around each little design because you don't have a lot of room on here to be setting these things up. You can't really get a lot of extra um, material around the edge because you're gonna wanna press it down with a little squeegee. I'll show you. But first I need to go and cut the rest of these out so that I can work on some more of the hotel keychain. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. And so like I said, <clears throat> it's just a giant sheet. You can, you can have them printed in different sizes since I wanted to do multiple different designs. I had it done on what they call like a big gang sheet. So you go online and then it helps you um, spread everything across evenly so that nothing overlaps. And then you get the fun part of cutting these out, which is what I'm gonna do right now. Okay, so basically I've got them all cut up. Uh, I split them up by their different designs. And I tried to group them that way on the sheet so that I knew they would all be sort of in order. But basically like the design I just showed you with Life with Christ is a Wonderful Adventure. I've got a few on here. I'm doing a St. Christopher one because I figure it's for the car you're driving. A lot of times Catholics have St. Christopher medals in their cars. Why not put one on a keychain? St. Christopher protect us. I have some things like that. St. Christopher in just different colors, just depending on, this is just a white, depending on the keychain itself. You know, I wanted different things to go with them. So I'll show you, I'm gonna do a keychain now and then I'll show you how, how it looks and how it actually, how it works, how you get these on there. Okay, I think I'm gonna put this white St. Christopher on the back of a teal. And you really have to cut pretty close. 
around your design. So you don't have a lot of room. And you have to press it down and level it. So basically the idea is there is a permanent sticker that is here and it is laminated. You're gonna take off the back, press it down onto your keychain, and then you're going to take, I use Ninja transfers for these. They give you this. You basically just rub and rub and rub and rub and rub, get all the bubbles out every direction, and then you pull off the top. I'll show you. And so when you're pretty satisfied with that, and I am, it's on there pretty well, you wanna peel. So you're gonna peel the extra top layer off, being very careful around all the little tiny pieces. I don't know if you can see that, but it is peeling. Just go slow, and if anything pulls up, you can always use the little guy here and pull it all, push it all back down, rub it some more. This all came off pretty well. So this is sticky. And then you're left with your, just your sticker on there. So it's just a transfer, it's a permanent sticker. Um, you can go online and you can find templates for these if you're interested in making them. And then you make your design that would fit in the middle. The hardest part is getting them centered, <laughs> I'll tell you. Uh, other than that, these are pretty easy. So I have a lot of different designs and I am going to start offering these in my stores. I forgot I was gonna show these. I designed a bunch of new stickers. And so this one is Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. And then, let's see, these are stickers I already have in the store. This is also a new one, Come Holy Spirit. And then, Rooted in Faith, Blooming in Love. And I've decided to start making my stickers a little smaller because I think that the three by threes are too big. So these are more like two by two. This is a quote by St. John Vianney. It's always springtime in the heart that loves God. And it just has some spring flowers. This is the Faithful Reader Bible Lovers Club. And I have something interesting with this design coming up. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that I was taking a poll between this uh, design and the Life is Worth Living, which is a uh, which was Fulton Sheen's show that I love to watch on YouTube. And I asked if people would like those on tote bags because I'm going to start using my um, heat press to do tote bags and I got a really good response. So I've ordered those um, transfers. So that'll be in the next video, me heat pressing tote bags. We'll figure those out together. This is the Life with Christ is a Wonderful Adventure as a sticker. This one is, whoops, Fruitful Faith from Matthew 7. This one did not print out well. I'm gonna have to do this one over again, but this is iron. Whoops, come back to me, machine work. This one is iron sharpens iron, and it's supposed to be barbells with a cross design, but the Proverbs that it is alluding to does not show up, so this will have to be redone. But that's okay. One out of, what, eight? Not too bad. Okay, and the final thing I'm gonna do and have it well ventilated in here today is I'm going to take another um, mug that I've taped up here. I actually was gonna use these little silicone, whatever they're made of, I think they're silicone, but even the smallest one that's like a very, 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 very small diameter, it does not fit in there. You cannot put it in there and then put the cup. I tried it. So unfortunately that's not going to work. So. Um, I'm just gonna stick the cup in as is, but I'm going to use, a lot of people suggested this 
going to use some butcher paper. Um, hopefully that will help a little bit if I just wrap some butcher paper around it. People were saying that sometimes the ink can bleed and get on the inside of the machine too. So always to put butcher paper in between. And I have the paper for the, the heat press that you put before you do like a shirt or a tote bag, but this didn't come with anything. The Cricut, oh, it stinks. So um, I had to go online and buy some heat resistant like butcher paper for this purpose. So as soon as this heats up, we'll get it in there. Okay, white just turned green. So I'm gonna see how I can <laughs> get this to fit in there correctly or not with this butcher paper. And hopefully the butcher paper can help make it a little bit tighter. Let's see. Maybe even the butcher paper isn't going to fit. Okay, I just went to tape it and see if that would help. So um, it's not really, but in we go, hopefully, maybe. Okay, I went to just tape the edges of it to try to get it in there the best so we're going to drop you in close it oh okay and then we just wait again for the lights up here to turn all white so maybe about 10 minutes or so it's usually pretty quick we'll see how this one turns out okay it is done we are going to take them out and some people were saying you can unwrap it right away. Other people said, oops, excuse the machine. Other people said um, you can let it wait a minute, but I'm gonna try unwrapping it hot this time just to see if anything, um, if it turns out better. One thing I will notice, the butcher paper, the color from the tape is transferred to the butcher paper. I don't necessarily like that. Let's see. Yeah, it's hot. You can feel the heat. Take the butcher paper off first. Now it's stuck to my glove, of course. And let's unpeel the mug. Oh, it's a lot easier to unpeel the tape when it's so stinking hot, but... Well, you can still feel the heat through the mugs. Or through the... Through the gloves, don't be fooled. It is hot. Woo. All right, oh, that comes off a lot better. So, I will say the print came out pretty well. There's a little smudging there. Still just not getting as crisp of a look to the flowers that I want. Like it's good, coloring is good just wish there was a little bit more detail in that white flower it's always that like this white flower but other than that the prints look good this is really hot I'm gonna put it down <laughs> other than that um, the writing looks good I like the colors just need to figure out a way to get more pressure on it I think and I'm not sure if it's the Cricut um, if I should invest in a different type of heat press that maybe I can adjust the pressure on or use these mats. I think these mats are more for a different type of heat press. So I am going to play around some more. And if not, it may be giving up the Cricut or possibly just using that for other things. I'm not sure yet, but um, if anybody has any ideas on what I can do to sort of adhere paper a little bit better get a little bit more pressure let me know okay I think I'm gonna end the vlog there today I am going to finish cutting up all of these transfers for all of my hotel keychains I'll be making a lot of those this week so those should be in the shop you'll probably see them within the week and yeah it was just a fun day of experimenting so <laughs> hope you liked it Next time I'm going to have the sublimation transfers for doing tote bags. So we're going to start with tote bags, um, maybe get back into some orders. I took a week off from the shop, so I currently don't have any orders to package up. So I think that's it, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.